classical cryptography, monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution. Introduction. Contents. Welcome to our course on monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution, in the series on classical cryptography. Click on start course to begin now. In the second part of the e-learning course on classical cryptography, we focus on monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution. We will illustrate each of these methods with the help of two famous ciphers, namely the Caesar cipher, and the Visionaire cipher. Classical cryptography, monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution. Caesar cipher. Encryption. A very famous cipher is the Caesar cipher, which was the favorite cipher of Julius Caesar, and hence became popular around 50 BC in the Roman Empire. Caesar used this cipher to keep his military correspondences a secret. As we will discuss later on, the Caesar cipher is a so called substitution cipher. In this method, plain text characters are substituted by cipher text characters. This means, that we take the plain text alphabet and encrypt each letter by a different letter. So we first have a look at our plain text alphabet and our future cipher text alphabet. By the Caesar cipher, we substitute our letters with the letter three spaces to the right, and hence, we often also speak of shifting the letters in this context. For the letter A this means, that we look three spaces to the right to the letter D, and then write this letter down under A. Similarly, for B, we get E, and by the same principle, for C, we get F. In the same way, we can write down the remaining letters. When we reach the Z of the second alphabet, we simply start from the beginning with ABC. Note that while Caesar preferred a shift by three spaces, theoretically different substitution ciphers following the same principle are possible. Moreover, we can be more specific in our description of the substitution cipher. Namely it is a monoalphabetic substitution cipher. This means that every letter in the plain text alphabet is substituted by exactly one letter in the cipher text alphabet and vice versa. If one plain text character is substituted by several different cipher text characters, we would call it a polyalphabetic substitution cipher. If you want to learn more about the cryptography and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.